called a co-infection, basically being infected with two viruses at the same time. Well, this winter, some pediatricians report they're seeing an increase in children with co-infections. But why is that? Experts say it has to do with an increase in testing. Pre-COVID, we weren't always necessarily testing for a whole bunch of different viruses all at one time. But now that we're able to test for multiple viruses at one time and we're doing it more often, I think we're uh, finding out that we're seeing a lot of co-infections. Dr. Camille Sabella is a pediatric infectious disease specialist with Cleveland Clinic Children's. He says co-infections can happen with many of the viruses going around right now. Testing can not only help with making a diagnosis, but also in determining treatment. While being sick with two viruses isn't fun, Sabella says most kids handle it pretty well and are able to recover at home. In more severe cases, children may need to be hospitalized. Sabella says if your child has any kind of trouble breathing or seems to be getting worse instead of better, they need to see a medical provider. As for prevention? Probably the most effective thing you can do is just wash your hands. A lot of these viruses are really spread through the air, but, but the majority of the spread, especially things like RSV, is really hand-to-hand, close-to-close. So, so really being careful about strict hand-washing is really important. And when the kids are sick, keeping them home from school and from daycare helps as well. Vaccines are also available to protect against many of the circulating illnesses, including the flu. And experts stress not every child with a virus needs to be tested. Doctors make that determination based on the child's symptoms, severity of illness, other health problems, and whether the results will have an impact on their treatment.